Good evening, everybody. How are you today? Good evening to Claudia, eh, Claudia Lisette, Vladimir, Victor. It's good to have you here, my dear participants. Eh, welcome, eh, welcome, Vicky. Okay, um, this is the last week of this model, so I want to congratulate you because you have been able to um, complete, right? Almost complete uh, this goal. So um, for this week, we are going to accomplish, uh, to finish the section number five and complete the midterm exam, right? So um, for tonight, uh, we are going to continue with the section five and then we are going to have some exercises on, on the section. Let me see, I'm going to share the platform and then we will go to the content and uh, the idea is that we can advance as much as we can and that we can have um, uh, the time enough time uh, to practice with the final exam by uh, um, coming thursday right okay so just let me ask to someone somebody that is uh, writing to me in the chat. So let me just answer. Okay. Okay. Um, remember that you have a, a playlist, right? You have access to the playlist and then you can watch all the videos just in case you um, couldn't participate in any of the classes or you would like to watch again a video about uh, any topic that you would like to repeat or because uh, you would like to, to watch a video uh, regarding to the uh, uh, a specific knowledge check, you can go to the playlist and in the playlist you will find all the videos you need, okay? All the videos we have, uh, all the classes, I mean, have a specific video, right? Okay, uh, before uh, I can continue, I would like to ask you, have you advanced in the platform? Antes de continuar, me gustaría preguntarle si han avanzado en la plataforma y si estamos bien. If you have questions, okay. si tenemos preguntas so far. Eh, ahorita todavía voy por la sección 5. Eh, me quedé en el segundo video. Ok, excelente. So, but you are in the number 5. Yeah. So, thank you, thank you. The idea was that during the weekend you had to advance until the section, to complete the section 4, right? If you have been, uh, if it has been possible for you to advance to section 5, it's okay. I'm very glad uh, for that. And now we are going to continue and the idea is that we can finish this week, okay? So, let me show you. Thank you very much for your feedback and let me show you. For tonight, we are going to continue with the fine point two lesson objective that says, by the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer simple present WH questions Additionally, we'll practice a conversation which illustrated how this topic is used in real life settings. So last week, we have like a very uh, fast review of this, but tonight I would like to uh, develop the complete uh, topic to have the chance to have a practice. And um, because last week we only see this part, but we, and we also saw the the knowledge check, but uh, it was missing the practice. So tonight we are going to see, uh, we are going to, to have a practice, a conversation on that. And uh, later, if time allow us, we are going to continue with 5.5. By the end of this, of this class, you will learn how to sound nature when using can and can't. Okay, so we are going to work on that. Uh, in order to do this, you have, um, in the platform, you have a, a video that exactly teaches uh, how to say can, right? Which is a very open uh, lips and mouth, can, like you're smiling, and can't. And you have to make like an extra effort with your uh, stomach, right? So, um, but this is going to be later. So, 
let me stop sharing and then let me show you my presentation that I have for you tonight. Okay, I would like to ask if you, um, can you watch my screen? Yes. Okay, yeah. perfect, perfect, excellent. So, for tonight, I know that these words are a kind of familiar for you. I know that many of you know about them, but as I said before, uh, this is a review of this, and tonight I want that you have the possibility to have a practice and speaking practice, okay? So, uh, remember that we use who to ask about a person. We can say, Who's that, who is that boy? Who is that boy? My brother, Tom. When? When is the party? On Friday at two o'clock. Remember that we use who to ask about a person, when to ask about a date, right? Uh, or time, what uh, to talk about or to ask about someone or something. What is on the table? There's a pencil. Why? Why are you late? In this case, I'm asking for an explanation, right? Because I missed my bus. Where? When I ask why, I said it's, an, it's a reason, asking for a reason. And when I use where, I'm asking for um, a place. Where is your book? It's in, it, it's in the back, right? It's in the, or it's in the back, if you want to say it contracted. Which? When we ask which, uh, we are asking for a choice, one or other, right? So you say, um, which is your apple? I have two apples, a green apple and a yellow apple. So my question is, which is your apple? And you say, uh, the green one, okay? So you have to choose between two options. Okay, here it is clearer, and here you can see that we have the question word who. When we ask for a person, who's that man? That's Peter. Where? When we ask for a place, where do you live? In London. Why? I'm asking for a reason. Why are you here? Because I need you. When? We are asking about time. When do you study? At night. What? Uh, we use what to ask about an object, an idea, or action. What do you eat, eat for breakfast? Cereals. You can ask, you can answer with, with a very short answer or you can answer in a very complete form and say, I normally or I usually eat cereals. What time? It's for asking for a specific time. What time do you finish work? At six. How? Uh, when we use the WH word how, we are asking about manner. How are you? I'm fine. How often? When we use the question how often, we're asking about frequency. How often do you go to the gym? Every day, or I go to the gym every day. How old? When we use the question how old, we are asking about age. How old is your sister? She's 27, or she is 27, depending if you want to answer in a contracted form or in a full form. Okay, my dears, now is your turn to practice, right? Uh, because the idea of this is that you can um, speak, you can practice, you can pronounce, you can use the intonation for a WH question. And now is your turn to practice and the, <clears throat> and the instruction says, elaborate a conversation with at least four WH questions and then perform it with your group work. Uh, um, or with your uh, work group, right? Uh, you say, exam the example says, hello, Peter, how are you today? That's a very common question. That's a very familiar question. In, this, in that case, I'm asking how, how are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Uh, what time do you arrive to your workplace every day? I arrive at 7.30 in the morning. Where do you live? I live in Santa Ana. How do you get to your workplace? I take a bus. You may say, I drive my car, I take a bus, I take a taxi, or whatever, right? Or I uh, ride my motorcycle. Uh, which bus uh, do you take? 201 or 202? 
I in just I'm just saying a number, right? I take two hundred uh, two hundred two uh, two hundred one uh, two hundred one root, or you can say two o one root. Nice to see you. Take care. So if you see, this is a very short um, uh, conversation, right? It's a very short conversation that you, uh, in this case, we're using at least uh, four. For, for example, here, what is one, where, two, how, three, uh, which, uh, four. So uh, I'm using at least four, right? WH questions. And so what I would like you to do is to take a small of this conversation and that you can uh, elaborate a similar one. You can take a picture if you want. However, I will send it to you to the chat for you to have it there and that you can take the idea. Of course, you can change the topic completely. Uh, you can change the questions, right? Uh, so that's why I'm going to move and I'm going to send you this, um, this other chart that is, uh, that talks about the WH questions and what you're asking for when you use them. So I would like to know if you have questions. Tenemos preguntas? No. No. Okay, very good. Remember that this is your time for practicing, for speaking, for expressing yourself. What I would like to hear from you is that you can give the proper intonation. For example, remember that when we have a question, we say, hello, Peter, how are you today? Right? So you're asking a question. Uh, and give uh, the answer with the right tone, right? I'm fine. Thank you. What, uh, what time do you arrive to your workplace every day? It's a question, right? So you have to give the intonation. I arrive at 7.30 in the morning. So that's an answer. There's no question intonation. Where do you live? I live in Santa Ana. How do you get to your workplace? That's a question. I take a bus. Which bus do you take? Uh, so uh, I apologize because here there's a question mark missing, right? So the question mark is there now. So which bus do you take? 201 or, or uh, 201 or 202. Remember that in that case, we can mention the zero like an or, right? O, O, 201, I mean 201, or you can say 201. Uh, 202 or 202, right? I take a 201 root. Nice to see you, take care, okay? So I'm going to send you the invitation. I'm going to stop sharing because I already sent you the material you're going to use. And now we are going to have four breakout rooms for you to practice. So please join to the invitation when you receive it.
Hello, hello, Daisy. Hello, Joao. Can you hear me? Hello. Hello, Daisy. Welcome. Hello. How are you, my dear? Um, I, I would like to ask you if you would like to go to the breakout rooms. Maybe I can explain uh, what we are working on and then uh, you can go with the breakout room uh, with one of the teams. Or maybe I can explain and you can try to work here in the main room. So um, I would like to see um, what do you prefer? Can you hear me, Daisita? My dear Joao, can you hear me? Teacher, me escucha. Sí, yo ahora lo escucho. Ahorita les estaba mandando un mensaje de que si les da problema sí. unirse a los breakout rooms, sí, pueden trabajar desde acá. Ok. Sí, entonces. Lo siento, hay... pero es que he tenido. No se preocupe, yo lo entiendo. Yo sé que es un poco interesante que el internet falle. Eh, justo les, les escribí al Sí, la verdad. Y ahorita les estaba diciendo okay. que si ustedes prefieren, eh, pueden trabajar aquí en el main room. ¿Verdad? Porque a veces okay. el meterse a un breakout room también le, le puede afectar los datos. Entonces, eh, estoy viendo si Deisita se le une porque la vi que ingresó, pero no sé si ella me puede escuchar. Entonces, si Deisita puede eh, escucharnos, sería excelente que trabajen juntos acá. Si no, yo hago, no sé, okay. usted lo, lo desarrolla y yo regreso en un minuto para que lo trabajemos juntos. Solo déjeme hacer mi ronda por los grupos. Ok, ok. De acuerdo, teacher. Excelente. Sí, Lo veo en un minutito. Ok. Siempre sería con Hi Cindy. No. Hello. Is everything Hello, okay? Teacher. ¿Todo bien por acá? Yes, teacher. I try to prepare to the, to the question. Excellent, excellent. You can take some of them uh, from the conversation of you, or you can change them, change them, depending okay. on what you want, uh, what you would like to say, okay, or what you want to do. Okay, teacher, understand. Excellent. See you in a minute, okay? Okay, teacher. Perfect. Sí, es que tengo bastante malo el internet, la verdad. Si quieres, lo, 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 sí. lo bajamos por chat. Pero. Yo tengo dos. La otra es: How often do you do you to the park? How often? How often do you to the park? Do you? Do you? Do you go? Sí, sí, sí. Hello, teacher. Hello. Do you go? Do you go? Uh -huh. yes. Do you go to the park? Yes. To the park. Sí. Do you go okay. to the park? Uh, uh, could you repeat the question, my dear? Pueden repetir uh -huh. la pregunta? Sí. How, I have, I have a... how does? How often do you go to the park? Yes, how often do you go? That's right. Uh -huh. yes. Yes. Go. <laughs> <laughs> to the park, yes, yes, teacher, is to the park. Yes, how the often park. do you go to the park? To the park, al parque. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Excellent. Do you have uh, extra questions? Yeah, I, I have other questions. Well, I'm going to ask you all pero. Eh, bueno, las que tenemos son What's your last name? Uh -huh. Where do you live? And where do you work? 
Excellent. So you need just uh, one, one more. If you if you want to add more, it's okay. But you need at least four. Uh, that okay. works. Okay. Okay. Excellent. See you next time. Okay. Qual otra? Abdul, ¿cuál es la Otra vez me tocó. Eso estaba viendo, pero, pero escuché que dijo cuatro, la ley, la ley, y yo voy a darle con la ley. La, <risa> es que okay. no se, se confunde. Sí, bueno, es que ya, ya tenemos, ya tenemos cuatro. Es que acabo de terminar la clase de la universidad también. Me ah, bueno. Pegado. Me quedo pegado. Este, it's okay, don't worry. My dear, uh, you need four. Uh, if you want to add more, it's okay, but you just need four, okay? Okay, okay, Excellent. teacher. Excellent. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Okay. 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 My, my husband takes me. Takes me to my workplace, or my my husband uh, picks me up. Es en el picks caso de que me coge de un lugar, verdad, para otro. Ah, o okay. my husband drives drives me drives me porque él me lleva, verdad. Drives como manejar, pero con la S de tercera persona singular. O sea, sería my husband drives drives, drives, me. drives me to my workplace. Yes. Oh, okay. to my workplace. Yes. Or my Thank husband. Thank you, teacher. Or the other option is my husband uh, picks me up uh, to my workplace. Just or my me. husband. Um, también se puede usar moves, pero se, se entiende más drives me, picks me up, and um, those those two are the most most frequent, right? Okay. Then um, we teníamos teníamos una duda nosotros o bueno yo yo la tenía más yes. bien porque yo fui el que les dijo Tell me. este quit estábamos hablando de, de que bueno yo les dije de que él mencionó Miguel mencionó algo de which with my car algo así dijo verdad Miguel eh, with con o which la pregunta de cuál eh, which ¿Cuál? era la pregunta Ah, uh, which, we use which when, when we have two options or more options, right? Yes. So for, for example, I say, which cell phone do you want? Uh, the black or the black? <laughs> Both are black, right? But let's suppose that this is a red and this is a black. Then I say, which cell phone do you need? The red one or the black one? But I give mm. you a choice. You need to choose uh, between some uh, options, right? You need to have some options. When we use which, right? Okay. Lo que sucede es que la, la respuesta de la how do you get up to your workplace eh, fue I, I drive a car. Entonces eh, queríamos usar siempre el which preguntando por el carro, por el vehículo. Ah, pero solo tienen un vehículo. Eh, porque podría decir eh, which, which car do you, do you drive? The pick up yeah. or the sedan, for example, for poner un ejemplo, ah, okay, para okay. que tenga como dos opciones. Hay cual carro manejable, the pick up or el sedan. So you say, uh, which car Bien. do you drive? Or you can say, which Bien. car do you drive, the blue or the red? Si lo quieren hacer por color. Por color lo estábamos haciendo. Está bien, es aceptable. Este. Y en ese caso también podríamos usar el, el what. Yes, uh, what. Uh, yes. Uh, pero es que en what... La diferencia, quizás se los explico, la diferencia entre what, what y which es que en what yo no, ten, yo no tengo la posibilidad de darle opciones. Por ejemplo, yo le puedo preguntar, en what car, en what type of car do you drive? ¿Qué tipo de carro manejas? Entonces ahí es abierta la opción, usted me puede responder, I drive a pickup, I drive a, drive a sedan, I don't drive a car, I, I eh, ride a motorcycle. Uh, you can even say, I drive a Toyota, I drive a Nissan. You can give me different answers. 
but I, and it's okay y está correcto, ¿verdad? Y usted pregunte, haga esa pregunta con what, pero la pregunta va a ser abierta. En uh -huh. cambio, which lo uso cuando tengo un abanico de opciones y usted tiene que darme la respuesta solo de esas opciones. Okay. Ajá, ajá. Por ejemplo, cuando estamos comprando, ¿verdad? Eh, which, for example, which t-shirt eh, fits me eh, better? ¿Cuál camiseta me queda mejor? Digamos, yo le estoy pidiendo una opinión. Eh, the white or the black one? And you say eh, the black one. But I gave you the, the options, right? Pero está okay. bien, la pueden dejar con what. Si usted quiere... O sea que... Si quieren utilizar... Which which, es una pregunta más cerrada. Es más cerrada, sí. Which es una pregunta okay. más cerrada porque eh, tiene que escoger entre dos o tres opciones o, o varias opciones, pero un grupo de opciones. Uh -huh. Le limita la pregunta. Sí, la limita. Sí, en cambio, what es abierto. Y está bien, es correcto si lo hace con what. Ok, teacher, thank you. Excellent, you're welcome. See you in a minute, ok? Ok. 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 Ahí, ahí como ahí sí sería ahí te a, a vas o, o acá. Teacher. Hello, do you have questions? I'm here. Yes, teacher. Tell me, excuse me, I have a lot of questions in the other group, so that's why I'm sorry, I'm, I'm a little bit late here, but you can tell me and I have the time to answer. Okay. We can use, we can use, for example, which kind of transport do you use, bus or car? Yes, uh, remember that we use which uh, when we have uh, choices, when you give options to mm -hmm. people. So you, it's, that's a right uh, question. Which uh, kind of, trans uh, of transportation do you use? A car, a bus, or motorcycle? And the mm -hmm. person answers, I, uh, I drive a car. If you, if you talk about a car, you say, I drive a car. If you, okay. if you talk about a motorcycle, you say, I ride a motorcycle, right? Mm -hmm. uh, if you use a bike, a bicycle, you say, I, I ride a bicycle. It's similar to the motorcycle. Uh, if you uh, uh, travel by bus, you say, I, I take a bus, right? A bus. Or I travel by bus. Or let's imagine that you use a train, for example, that we live in another country and we have train. You say, I, I, I take a train or I, I uh, travel uh, by train. Mm -hmm. and, and the other option will be what kind of transport do you use? But we don't say the two options, for example. Yes, when you use what, the difference is uh, that what is a very open question. You don't give choices, you don't, give, don't mm -hmm. give options. So you, the other person can answer any, any, any answer, any, any response, because it's, a, it's an open question. And the difference is that which is a closed question that you have to answer only with some choices that you're giving. Okay. Mm, okay. We can say that which is for a, a semi-closed questions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank Excellent. You. Do you have extra questions? Um, no. 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 Okay. You have one uh, one more minute in order to finish, right? So I call okay. you back. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello, hello, my dears. I came back, so people is going to come back in one minute. Okay, teacher. Okay, okay Joao, it's good to hear you back. Uh, I would like to ask you, were you able to practice the conversation? Because I know that you yes. have problems. Okay. Eh, por, por chap lo estábamos, lo estábamos practicando. Excellent. Okay. I like it. Excellent. Very good. So people is going to join us in a couple of uh, seconds. So we are going to have the chance to uh, perform before the, the whole class. Okay, so let me. Okay, teacher, okay. 
Okay, so let me share with you the presentation again. Okay, um, excellent, welcome back. So most of the people is here. So I would like to ask you, how was the practice? Uh, do, you, do you have the chance to uh, practice with at least four uh, WH word questions? I hope yes, okay? So I would like to ask every group uh, to have a participation because this time we have enough time precisely to have our practice because last time we couldn't uh, have a practice uh, about this topic. So I would like to ask who wants to start? All the groups will participate, but I would like to ask who wants to start? A ver, a ver. ¿Quién quiere comenzar, chicos? Eh, ¿Tenemos el tiempo para que todos los, eh, los grupos participen esta vez? Pero me gustaría... Saber... Team teacher. Ok, please, go ahead. Let me ir. Ok. <laughs> los primeros seremos los sentenciados. <laughs> no, you break the ice, so you are very, very brave and courageous. <laughs> and Abdul. <laughs> okay. And Vladimir, what's your last name? My last name is Romero. Okay, and where do you live? Uh, I live in El Salvador, in a specific in San Jacinto. Okay. San Jacinto. Okay, and where do you work? At, I work at this hotel, El Salvador. Okay. Uh, how often do you go to the park? Um, uh, every day, every day. <laughs> so that's <laughs> every okay. day. Okay, <laughs> excellent. Uh, that's it. Uh, do you have more questions? Um, that's yes. it. Okay. Um, uh, my question is only to people in that group, or all part all, all of you participated. Fal falta Abdul. Okay, so who would like to ask Abdul a couple of questions? Uh, Vladimir. Okay. Okay, uh, thank you. But, uh, I, where do you live, Abdul? Está en silencio el micrófono de Abdul. Hello, Abdul. Can you hear us? ¿Nos puede escuchar? Ay, Dios, iba hablando aquí yo solo. No me había dado ah, cuenta. Sorry. <laughs> it happens sometimes. It happens to me. And you say, teacher. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Okay. okay. Go ahead. This is Your address. question is? Uh, where do you live? Ah, where, I live downtown San Salvador. Okay. Wait, te voy a poner una nueva. <laughs> nada, nada de las que practicamos. Uh, what do you study? Wait. <laughs> when do I you study? Is, okay, I study Universidad Pedagógica de El Salvador. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, what's your last name? My last name is Gonzalez and second last name is Loza. Okay, very good. No more question, please. <laughs> Finish. Okay, thank you. Thank you very I, much. But you did I, a great job, even though they were new questions that, that you didn't practice in the group. <laughs> Congratulations. Surprise. Yeah, surprise. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> like boo. <laughs> okay, excellent. Thank you. Okay, second team, who wants to continue? Let's see, let's see. Uh, maybe uh, Monica's team. Hello, Monica. Hello, teacher. Would uh, you like to continue with your team? Miguel and Carlos. Okay, Miguel and Carlos. Are you there? Hello. Hello. Yes. Okay. I'm here. Okay, go ahead. Inicio. Hello, Carlos. How are you today? Hello, Monica. I'm fine. And you? Fine. Uh, where do you live? I live in San Sonora City. 
uh, what do you care up your workplace? How? How do you? How do you get up? Get, the get up your... excuse me, get, get to your workplace. How do you get, get up your workplace? I take a box. I take a box. Okay. Uh, which uh, which bus do you do you take? Uh, I take five fifteen three E or fifteen three D. I take fifty three E. Nice to see you. Take care. Excellent. Thank you. You were just two or there's other person in the group? Is there any? Yes. Okay. Miguel. Okay. Who wants to work with Miguel? Solo tengo una pequeñísima observación. Eh, do you get to your workplace? Porque si me le ponen el up es levantarse. Get up es levantarse. Entonces cuando sea así, how do you get uh, to your workplace? Es así. How do you get to? Eh, no me le pongan el up. Esa sería mi, mi observación eh, en este caso, nada más. Ok, thank eh, you. You're welcome. Eh, who wants to work with Miguel? I don't know if Monica or the other eh, member of the team, I don't know. Carlos. Ok, Carlos, Carlos y Miguel. Ok. Hello, Miguel. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How old are you? Um, I'm 50, I, 35 okay. years old. Okay. Where do you live? I live in Santa Tecla. How do you... What time, what time do you go to the bed? Um, at around 10 p.m. Okay. okay. That's it. Or do you have an extra question? No. Okay. No more. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much. Excellent. Um, let's see. I forgot, I forgot the, the little feedback that I, I had to give you, but I will remember, excuse me, I, I forgot. Um, let's see. Tenía una pequeñísima retroalimentación para ustedes, pero se me fue. Solo déjenme recordarla y les comento. Okay, excellent, thank you. Uh, next team, siguiente equipo. Our team teacher, Cindy and Victor. Excellent, no, no. Okay, excellent. Okay, let's go. Uh, hello, Vitor. How do you feel today? I feel great. Hi, Cindy. He's my friend, Adonai Portillo. He is from Mexico. And you, Cindy, where are you from? Hi, Vitor. I'm from El Salvador. What kind of job do they have? I'm work in Digicel. I am team manager. And you, Victor? Uh, I am supervisor for paint department of Vidri. That's it, teacher. Excellent. Thank you. I like that you uh, were able to interact, you three. Thank you very much. Uh, for the previous team, uh, para el equipo anterior y para todos nosotros, uh, solo quiero pedirles que cuando vayan a decir su edad, I'm, for example, if I say I'm 42 years old, Lo dijeron bien, solamente que el I'm, ese mm, me lo tienen que hacer bien para que se entienda, porque si no solo se oye como I-42. Entonces yo, yo entiendo porque a veces nos cuesta hacer el sonido de la mm, I'm cuando estamos contractando. Eh, si eso se nos dificulta, entonces usamos la forma full, I am, I am 42, y así nos aseguramos que lo estamos haciendo bien. That's what, that uh, was my only... Uh, uh, feedback that I have. Uh, thank you, teams. Uh, who else? Let's see. There's a, there's one missing team. Me falta un equipo. No sé si es el equipo de Claudia o de Yanari. 
Chicas, ¿me corrigen ustedes? De Yanari ya estuvo. Ya, ¿verdad? Ok, Claudia. De Yanari ya estuvo. Ok, excelente. Eh, Claudita. Hello, Claudia. Hoy estuvo el equipo de Claudia. Nos, a nosotros, teacher. Ok, adelante. Ok, eh, Ramiro. Ok. Eh, eh, con quién? Hello, ¿Cómo? Ramiro. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Where do you live? I live in San Salvador. How often do you go to supermarket? I usually go every Sunday. Okay. What kind of transportation do you use? Mm. Ahí le faltó el, el car al bus. Okay, I take a bus. And? I drive a car. Ah, okay, I drive a car. Excellent. That's all. Okay, thank you. Yes, Claudita says that she's uh, presenting some connection problems. So we understand Claudita, don't worry. Thank you, Ramiro. Thank you very much. I just would like to ask uh, if Joao, because Joao was practicing with Isita, but I don't know if at the end uh, Joao is able to perform or not. Hey, teacher, aquí estoy, solo no sé si Daisy está conectada. Okay. No sé si Daisita nos escucha. Okay. Creo que no, teacher. No, verdad. Si, si gusta, solo nos comenta qué preguntas eh, se hicieron, porque ustedes no trabajaron eh, escrito por chat. Ok, este, prácticamente hicimos las mismas, pero igual hablo. voy a decir la pregunta y la respuesta. Ok, ok. Y yo, yo le preguntaba, hello Daisy, how are you today? Ella me respondió, I'm fine, thank you, and you? Y yo le respondí, I'm fine, thank you. Luego la otra pregunta que yo le hice es, what time do you arrive to your workplace every day? Ella me respondió, I arrive at 8 in the morning. Uh -huh. Y la otra que yo le pregunté fue, where do you live? Ella me dijo que I live in San Salvador. Uh -huh. Y ya la otra ya no, la alcanzo, no me la alcanzó a responder, pero se la hice que es, who do you get to your workplace? How, eh, how, how do you get? Uh, how, perdón. Okay. How do you get to your workplace? Eh, no me la alcanzó a responder. Ok, realmente. don't worry, I understand because there are some uh, connection, uh, internet connection failure. Thank you very much, Joao, for sharing your work. Ok, my dears, uh, so we are going to continue. Uh, if you see, we have been uh, able to use at least four WH words in a very uh, normal and real life uh, com uh, basis conversation. So those are very common questions that we uh, use in the day by day, right? So uh, let me advance uh, with the topic. So I have here some and I would like that you can help, help me uh, to see, uh, for example, what time is it? Oops, excuse me. Let me share again. Okay, and I will try to expand a little bit for you to watch what I'm going to do. Okay, so I would like to, I, will, I need your help. For example, what time is it? What time is it? What do you think is the answer? I need 10 volunteers. Look, look for the answers in the uh, right side and tell me, what do you think is the I answer? Teacher. Yes, please. It is it's five to three. Okay, it is five to three. So just let me uh, draw it in a different a color, maybe a red one. Yes, yeah, it looks better. Okay, and uh, thank you, thank you very much. And number two, where is she? Hi. Yes, please. She is at the school. Okay, she is at the school. Excellent. So.
Uh, number three, how many cats do you have? Me, teacher. Please. Uh, I have 10 cats. Excellent. The first. Yes. Excellent. Thank you. So, um, let's see. Uh, number four. I'm. Yes, please. How old, how old are you? Uh, how old are you? Mm -hmm. I am 30, uh, 30, 30, 35. No. Yes, 35. 35 years old. Excellent. I am 35 years old. Excellent. So, number five. Thank you very much. Number five. Uh, who is him? Yo. Hey, please. He, he is my father. Excellent. He is my father. Excellent. Uh, remember that we use a, a who to ask about a person, right? So it's correct. Okay, number six. How much does this cost? Hi, teacher. Yes, please. $35. Okay, $35, excellent, thank you. Uh, let's see. Um, whose pencil is this? Volunteer for that question. It is Martin Pencil. Excellent. If you see, uh, when I'm asking who's, and then I say the object, and then is this, I'm asking for a person who is the owner of the object I'm asking for. And in this case, you can answer with a possessive. It is Martin's pencil. That's the way to answer because you're saying that belongs to, but you're using a possessive uh, with the apostrophe, right? Which, thank you, which drink do you want? Number eight, volunteer for number I eight. Want, I want water. Okay, I want water, so let me just give the, the different color and different uh, size. Okay, uh, number nine, which, when is the party? It's, it is next Saturday. Okay, so let me just draw the arrow. Okay, it is next Saturday, what is it? Okay. Let me see, and uh, I will need a volunteer for the last. So let me just ask, where, uh, why are you sad? In this case, I'm asking for a reason. Because I hurt my head. Because I hurt my head, yes, and maybe it's painful, right? And I'm, uh, I'm with a, a pain on, on my head because I hurt it. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. That's the way it is. A little bit confusing, but uh, there are rows because I, I uh, use uh, the same color, but I see that you can identify the WH word questions with the possible answers. So here, uh, remember that uh, when we have a question uh, normally in a yes no question we start with the auxiliary do or does for example do you like the ice cream but in that case the possibility is yes uh, i do or no i don't right uh, it's a yes no question when i use the auxiliary at the, the auxiliary do or does at the beginning right because i have the auxiliary then uh, the subject, then the main verb, and then the complement. But when we have a WH word question, I have to write it at the beginning of the sentence. And then you have to add the auxiliary, then the subject, then the main verb, plus the complement. For example, where do you work? I work at, and then you say the, you say the name of the company. When does he go to the mall? He uh, remember that when we answer, we use the third person singular because it's an affirmative sentence. Uh, when we use uh, he, she, it, and I say uh, he goes, he goes to the mall on weekends. What do you do? Uh, I'm taking my English class. 
my English class every day, right? I am take, taking my English class. So that's the structure. WH word, what, where, when, which, why, how, plus do, uh, for all the subject pronouns except for he, she, it, that we use does, plus the subject, plus the main verb, plus the complement. So that's the structure. So here, uh, I would like that you can tell me which is the right answer. For example, number one, what do you think is the right answer? Where? Okay, where do you live? I live in Mexico City, right? So the right answer is where? Um, so let's see, uh, number two. Look, he drives to work. Where? How? How, right? How does Michael get to work? Because I'm asking the manner, right? How? So that's the right answer. Number three. How? Oh. Yes. How old oh. are you? I'm 23. Yes, I'm, I'm asking about age. So the expression is how old. Number four. What? 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 Okay, what's that? It's a, a butterfly. So let me copy and paste and then write it here. What? Okay, so uh, number nine. In this case, uh, uh, the answer is my name is Stuart. What? What? Okay, what's your name? What's your name? My name mm -hmm. is Stuart. Okay, number 10. Where? Where? Why? Uh, look the answer. In Where? the answer, in the answer, I'm giving a reason. I felt why. Sick. Okay. Why, why? do you stay home? Because I felt sick, or just I felt mm -hmm. sick. Okay. Uh, so let me see. Number 11. It's mm. Monday. When? What? What? What day is what? it? Mm -hmm. ¿Qué día? Pero eh, está usando what, pero what day is it? ¿Qué día es? It's Monday. Okay, what, uh, number 12. The answer you can start now. So what is the expression to complete the question? When. When. Okay. When? When, when can I start work? Uh, in the answer, you can start now, 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 right? Ahora, verdad, puedes comenzar. Okay, very good. So let me see if we have enough time to complete the next, yes, uh, 10 minutes. Okay, uh, number five, my cell phone. It is my cell phone. I think I, th I saw it on the table. Where? Where? Okay, so let Where? me just paste it. Okay, copy paste. Just let me move this here. Okay. Uh, number uh, six. Do cows eat? They eat grass. How, what, what? or when? What? 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 Right? And what does? Uh, what do cows? They eat grass. Okay, number seven. Is your best friend? Who? Why? Okay, who is your best friend? Sophia is my best friend. I'm asking mm -hmm. for a person. Excellent. Number eight. When? When? Okay. When? when do you usually get up? I usually get up at six o'clock. Yes, because I'm asking about time. Okay, number, in this case, number 13. What? Okay. What time what, is it? Okay, what time is it? Uh, so let me move this. Yes, because in this case, I'm asking uh, about the time. But, uh, la hora, verdad? Okay, uh, number 14. Why? Okay, I'm asking Why? the reason. Why are you late? My card is broken down. 15. Um, Where? Okay, where what? are your bags? They are over mm -hmm. there. And the last one, 16. Um, how are you how, today? How are how, you today? How are you? I'm thinking about the manner you feel today. How are you today? 
Excellent, my dear participants. You were able to find the right question for the answer we have here using WH words. So with this, I'm going to close this topic, right? And I'm going to stop sharing uh, because I want to go back quickly to the platform for you just to watch the exercise. Uh, we already did it last class, but I invite you to go to the platform and complete it, right? So it says complete the conversation uh, with the right, um, excuse me, with the right WH word in this case. Um, let's see. Okay, in the conversation one is when. When do you usually watch soccer? The answer is, um, um, and there, there is a short conversation that says, I watch sports on television every weekend. Really? What sports do you like to watch? Soccer is my favorite. So when do you usually watch soccer? Conversation, uh, and then the answer says on Sunday afternoons. And where do you usually watch it? At home? No, at my friend's house. He has a really big television. Conversation two. How often do you go uh, bike riding? Oh, about once a month. I love to go bike riding. I go every Sunday. Really? When do you go? Uh, usually at about one o'clock. Oh, yeah. Who do you usually go with? Go with. Con quien vas, verdad? My sisters, my sister, come with us next time. Okay, and that's it. That's it, the knowledge check. So now you can complete it. And for tomorrow, we are going to uh, continue with can and can't. Okay, uh, do you have questions, my dears? Is everything okay? Okay. Yes, it's okay. It's okay. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you very much for coming. I'm very glad to have you here and I hope to see you tomorrow. Okay? Okay. Thank you. Have a good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.